Hey, welcome to the Meeple Mentor YouTube channel. I'm Jared. Today we're doing a special unboxing of the newest 007 Bond, James Bond board game called Spectre, the board game, uh, celebrating 60 years of 007. Uh, this is a, a game where you are going to be a villain and Bond is something that kind of, he comes in and tries to wreck your plans. Um, so it says, can you be number one, i.e. the most dastardly villain in the Spectre organization? Uh, so I'll read the back, of course, and take a look here what we got. Uh, can you be number one? Spectre, the 007 board game, is a competitive game for two to four players who take on the roles of iconic James Bond villains. Each player competes with each other to become Spectre's number one. No matter how hard they try, 007 is always there, waiting to disrupt their plans and reveal their secrets. The 007 board game features iconic weapons, locations, and characters from the James Bond films. Assemble devices, spy on your opponents, blackmail your rivals, build your own criminal empire, strategically deploy your agents around the globe to infiltrate key installations. Players will need to work behind the scenes to develop their nefarious plots and become 007's biggest threat. This is by uh, Modifius Entertainment, and uh, it's got, I think there was a number of designers that I saw on this one, but uh, I don't see it printed on here. Um, it plays in 20 to 45 minutes. It's for two to four players and recommended for ages 14 and up. So we're going to carefully take a look here. Plastic going away. It's got that spot UV on the cover for the uh, kind of the octopus symbol there. We have a nice new rule book here on top, fully illustrated, lots of color, a lot of explanations. Uh, the text is fairly large. Um, and um, you know, covers everything that you're going to need to know. They put the credits at the beginning, but there is an index. Um, nothing on the back. Uh, we do have some pictures here. All right. Okay. We've got tokens, cardboard punch out tokens. Uh, we've got the blue, like maybe blueprints. We've got gold, maybe uh, briefcase. Uh, plus two of one of these. It's got all of them shown. We've got uh, different numbers of these tokens. Um, yeah, and then one color for each player, I'm sure, for their Spectre token. Uh, underneath this, we have the game board. So let's open it up and see what it looks like carefully. Okay, here we go. So we can see what we're looking at here. There's going to be missions, discard section, secret plan cards, uh, blueprints, and intel, and gold. So this is where those things go. We have various, I think, locations here. We've got the River, River Nile, a Amazonian launch complex, Crab Key, Cape Canaveral, the uh, let's see, Koh Tapu. Uh, Secret Underground Lab, and the Severnia Satellite Control Center, which uh, I believe is from Goldeneye. Uh, we've got the turn sequence that's printed right on the board, so as you're going through the game, you can kind of take a look at that. And the 007 roll, which I believe is going to be basically between turns or after your turn, uh, dice rolled for kind of how 007 infiltrates and messes up your plans. Now there's also this... Uh, Kind of diagram here at the top that I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I'm guessing all of your uh, Spectre tokens start here and you go all the way around. And I'm not sure if that's how you end the game or what, but that is interesting. Uh, also in the box, we've got quite a few baggies for sorting items and tokens and all of that. We have two very large D6 dice. And on one side is the uh, gun barrel uh, icon for 007. Actually, two sides with the gun barrel. So there's one, two, three, four, and then two gun barrels. And uh, they're pretty big. 
pretty heavy. I mean, not like super heavy, but definitely heavier than your normal, you know, type of thing. We've got some plastic player pieces. So these are, you know, your Spectre Ops plastic guys. Um, pretty, I mean, it's pretty basic. Um, not a whole lot of detail here. It's just a functional, functional piece. Um, we've got some cubes and player colors we're going to take a look at. These I actually, I do like. They're kind of this uh, big chunky plastic pieces. Um, they feel good. They're, um, they're heavy, but not too heavy. Um, and large enough to feel, you know, substantial. Uh, we've got the red, red color cubes. All right, we have the yellow. So you'll see what kind of colors you can choose to be in the game. Red, blue, yellow, green. All right, and there's the blue. Perfect. Okay, so all of the cubes here. We have a poker chip, uh, which I'm guessing is the first player token. Now, uh, this is actually like a custom made poker chip with 007 on both sides. It's got the black and white. Uh, feels like it might be either a thick plastic, maybe not quite as heavy as clay might be, um, but it is a nice, nice little poker chip. Um, we have another set of playing pieces. Now these look smaller, am I right? Let me see. Okay, so they are not smaller, but they do have a round base instead of uh, a square base. So they have different purposes. Um, and I'm looking at it and unfortunately I can already see this blue one is uh, kind of popped like it's kind of broken a little bit. Uh, so these are going to be really fragile. I'll see if I can just like put some glue on it and just keep it straight. Um, but those in particular, the, the connection at the base can be very weak. So we got some silica gel. We have, what are these? Almost look like magnets. Okay. Uh, it looks like these are meant to be folded. Yeah. But why? Hmm. It's got uh, the same description of stuff on both sides of this. And like the centerpiece is like a fold line that you would end up using to fold something. So there's four of those. All right. We have what looks to be player boards um, or possible characters. Silva, all right. We've got Aristotle Christatos. We have Kleb, Rosa Kleb. Emilio Largo. And Ernst Blofeld from Spectre, of course. I believe that was the first character we saw that was part of Spectre. And then they kind of ran with it for a couple movies and then revisited it in some of the more recent uh, Daniel Craig films, including the movie Spectre. <laughs> all right, so we have these. And lastly, from what I can tell, all we have left to look at are the cards. So let's see if I can open these up here. And Take a look. These are going to be the secret plan cards. So I'm sure these are going to be like objectives and stuff that you try to complete for various uh, points and rewards. So yeah, have your different pieces in three and two and four. Um, have at least two of your cubes in eight. So you're going to be having your pieces all over here. You're going to have your guys in here. Of course, the circle, that means only your circle guy will likely be able to go in here. Um, I don't know if the rewards are the ones at the top. 
I assume so. Um, B number one. <laughs> so uh, I would say green is like the points you get if you complete it, and the red numbers would be the negative movement points or something if you don't complete it by the end of the game. That's my guess, not having played or read the rule book. So bear with me. It's a new game. So last, I'm going to try to get carefully this deck of cards open. So if those were the secret plans, then this is the mission cards, or these are the mission cards, that we will see played throughout the game. On Her Majesty's Secret Service, Dr. No, Dr. No from Russia with Love. So these are all kind of named after uh, the movies, but like here there's two missions with the same movie named. So there's, you know, up to two it looks like, um, missions per certain movies. Um, and this even looks like it's supposed to be from the Spectre movie. So um, there's pictures here from the movies. And uh, I think these are actual stills from the films instead of like art or paintings or anything like that. I think these are all stills. Um, but cool. Um, not a whole lot of cards. You know, it's probably just end up shuffling them a little bit like that. And it seems like setup's going to be really fast with this game. Um, you know, of course, I'll end up having to sort these into their own player bags and, um, you know, set it up and try it out. Have some rules to read first, of course. Um, before I end the unboxing, I do want to see if there's anything under under the box here. Sometimes, sometimes there is. But no, I don't see anything else. Um, so that is everything in the box that we can see for Spectre, the board game. And uh, no word yet on how it's going to play, because I've not played it, just opened it, brand new. Um, but thanks for checking it out with me, and uh, when you get a chance to play it yourself, let me know in the comments what you think, um, and uh, yeah, how it goes for y'all. Um, but I've been Jared from the Meeple Mentor YouTube channel, and uh, thanks for sticking around and uh, watching this video. If you want to check out more on the channel, I have a lot of tutorial videos for all kinds of games, but mostly those harder ones that are difficult to learn. Uh, and unboxings, of course. We do news here every other week for what's going on in the board game industry. If you want to keep up with that, a podcast, and more. So I hope you will stick around and subscribe. Uh, leave me a like and a comment, and I will try to respond. But until next time, I've been Jared. Bye-bye.